What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I am going to fix just something about the Throttle Addiction Hardtail Kit that I just absolutely hate. It is really the only thing of this Hardtail Kit that I hate, and today we are going to fix that. So, let me grab a wrench and I will show you. I may have one on the other side. I don't. So, Throttle Addiction uses a different thread pitch for their axle adjusters than any other kit that I've messed with. So let me show you this real quick and flip this around. They use a 3 8 by 24 thread pitch. This is a factory adjuster from them. This is the bolt that they supply with their kit. And uh, it's just kind of hard to turn. So let's go to the other side and I will show you something. Here on the other side, you will see that this adjuster has been replaced. I welded this one on. And uh, the adjuster is sheared off. This is the second time this has happened. If we kind of zoom in here, I don't know if I'll focus. You can zoom back out. You can see right there that the threads are not damaged on this adjuster. So the first time I threaded one of these axle adjusters in, it got stuck and sheared off, just like this one did. Okay, so Throttle Addiction was really awesome. I sent them a message, and they sent me out a new adjuster. I cut the old one off, and I put that one on, and uh, same exact thing happened. I ran a chaser through it, just in case, on both the adjuster and the bung. Same exact thing happened. So at this point, I'm just done with the stupid thread pitch they use. So I ordered a couple of bungs from uh, over here from bungking.com. I think it cost me six dollars to get two bungs that are in the standard Harley thread pitch, and I ordered some different adjusters. I don't know if you can see this with my ugly face there. Let me turn this around. So this right here is a much coarser thread pitch. Look how this actually turns, and they're so easy. You can do that like that. So today, we're going to cut these off of each side, and we're just going to thread on these and use these. So I'm done dealing with the stupid thread pitch they used, and uh, we're going to fix that. So let me throw the camera on the tripod, and let's get to cutting this crap off. So before I start this, I'm going to use a Dremel tool to do this. Again, I am a professional idiot. If you don't know what you are doing, then you are an amateur idiot. Don't touch it. Let a professional idiot do it. If I screw this up, I have the skills to fix this. And uh, if I don't have the skills to fix it, I know people who do have the skills to fix it. So again, if you don't have the ability to fix things, leave it alone. So here we go.
side is the factory installed one and it should come off quite a bit easier. Uh, something I didn't show is after I welded that on the other side, I ran a thread chaser through it multiple times just in case anything somehow got in there. So. Just like I did on the other side, even though I didn't show you guys, I'm gonna thread this thread chaser in there by hand. And then I just take the gun and just go back and forth a handful of times to make sure you clean those threads out. All right guys, so I threw the seat on just uh, for visuals here. I still have to chop this rear fender. That's not happening today. And, uh, but the bungs are on, the adjusters are on, things work and move now it is wonderful and that is all thanks to bunking.com again i am not sponsored by anybody i try to be very transparent with you guys if a company sends me something for free i try to let you guys know and uh if i do any kind of work with a company like when i built that chopper right there i bought that springer but tc bros they did use a part of that video that was all after the fact, and they sent me that banner, a hat, and a t-shirt and stuff. And I always share that with you guys because I want to make sure that you guys understand. I'm not like these giant YouTubers out here who there's never a bad word from them, and everything's all honky-dory, and they're working with all these companies. I'm going to tell you what my experience with stuff is. So you will always get the truth from me. So overall, I'm real happy with the axle adjuster setup, throttle addiction, if anybody from your company sees this. The only thing I dislike on this hardtail is the thread pitch that you use on those adjusters. Please go to a 3 8 by 18 thread pitch. But the build goes on, right? So in the weeks to come, I don't know when, I gotta throw the engine in this. That uh, big box right there is my exhaust. So I need to get that done so I can weld a tab on. For the exhaust to uh, mount up, still need to wire the bike, still need to um, get the uh, lithium-ion battery for this thing. That's an expensive battery. It's like 250 bucks, but it'll fit right inside of this area there. So I've got the tail light already. A lot of stuff going on, but I guess it's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Please do me a favor. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ring that notification bell so you can keep up with this build and any other builds we do. And there are links to all of our social media as well as our company website in the description below. Our company website is hotheadstalls.com where we make and sell everything for horses. There's lots of stuff back there for horses. And there's a 5% off discount code in the description box. I will see you all in the next one. I love you all. I'm out of here.